Good afternoon, I'm Maria and half with her back to us is Sean. We're from the Richardson Simple Living and today's Thursday so that means um, home school cooking day and we're going to be doing a Madeira cake today. I've already got it all organised so I'm not winging it to, for once. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to do that. It's We're following a recipe from the Biro cookbook, although I, I've got multiple recipes of Madeira cake, but um, I'll use this book to grab. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. We're using the maggot, maggot, I hope not, magic machine to whisk our cake in. So, uh, Sean, are you going to say hello to everybody, Sean? No, <laughs> too shy. <laughs> we tried. Okay then, Sean. So we've already got the oven preheated to gas mark four. We've got our um, we've got our cake tin lined. So we use a it says seven inch cake tin. I'm not sure if this seven or eight inch cake tin, but that's the one we're using. So that's all lined ready. Then what we need to do then, Sean, we've got to get the margarine and the sugar. I've got to check if my sugar pot was full because that bag of sugar is nearly empty. And I've got another one, but it's still in my Christmas box. I make a Christmas box up. You know how you buy all your food in and you put it away for what you need. And I always get an extra bag of sugar for when you make things like trifles and that. But it's still up in the box and I meant to bring it down but I forgot. <laughs> right, let's just dispose of that, we don't need that. Okay, so did I tell you how much margarine or did I not? I can't remember. I didn't, did I? <laughs> you want five ounces then Sean. So you can, well you know because the four's there isn't it? So. You want five ounces of that, and then when you've done that, just pop it into there. I want to have a look if there's enough sugar in the bowl. I think perhaps there is because that bag's nearly empty. The other day it was half full, so I'm imagining somebody has filled the sugar bowl up. Probably Daniel, he's the only one who has sugar. Unless we're cooking, we don't really use sugar that much. He has four scoops in his tea. He does, he has a lot, doesn't he? Just saying he's a skinny lad. <laughs> That's good. How are we doing? Nearly there. Super duper, that's fine. So we'll, what we'll do is try and remove things as we do it because, as you know, I keep mending back my small kitchen. <laughs> right, if you want to pop that into the magic machine then, sure. I'll pop this into the fridge. Give us some space as we go. Oh, it feels heavy enough. Oh, definitely full of sugar. <laughs> so I think it will be, just always do that just to make sure it goes back to the naught when you've done it. I think it will be five ounces of sugar. So, if you want to put five ounces of sugar in as well. The recipe does say castor sugar, but I think most recipes do, and I always put normal sugar in. Although I'm sure when I was at school, the teacher once told me you can make caster sugar by blending sugar down. I've never tried it. I just put normal sugar in. After all, sugar dissolves, so I think, what's the point worrying? I think then we'll be turning the noisy machine on then to give it a whisk, I think. Yeah. Normally a big tablespoon is equal roughly to about an ounce, but tablespoons seem to be getting smaller and smaller. We've got a lot on the side, Sean. <laughs> Could have done it over the top of it, I think. Yeah, that's fine, you've got five in there. Let's just move that back into place. If you want to tip that into there also, you can scrape it all out with your spoon because it'll probably stick a bit to the butter. I think we better 
mixing the sugar up. Last thing we want to line around sugar. hands. <laughs> we'll leave that because we want that few flour in a minute. Right, if we put the lid on then, we'll give it a great way and switch the machine on at the wall. It's a good start. <laughs> there you are then, Sean, if you want to press the button. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one cook says and the other one's off, so I need the cook, so I just don't want to... I did bring a knife in there. So just scrape it away from the edge, but... Yeah, a little bit scraped away from the edge. <laughs> the dog, Cassie, sitting at the bottom end of the kitchen. She's worked out when cooking day is. So now she's just sitting, hoping that she gets something. I'm going to put more of it now. She's looking all expectantly at us. <laughs> Is that nice and fluffy? She's off to the groomers on Wednesday next week. Most groomers aren't working, but if your dog's hair's getting dangerously matty or they can't see, they will accept them. Well, Sean being the... Sean? I'm calling you the dog. Oh, dear me, sorry. Cassie, I'm so used to saying Sean. Cassie, being a cockapoo, she is very, very furry. And although we've tried to keep her on top of it, open lockdown end soon so we could take her, it's getting impossible. We've noticed now she's getting knots in her feet and she's got knots behind her ears. We've cut a couple out, but there's more knots and starting to appear on her body coat. So, And it keeps getting in her eyes and we do cut it, which is a bit awkward because she moves around so much. It's all right at the groomers have got these proper frames that they attach them to, but it's just not safe. And it's getting too much to try and keep on top of her. So I spoke to the groomer this morning. She said, yes, we're allowed to take them in if you know they're in a position where it's getting um, bad for them because it's just not good for them then it make them ill she's a siberian mammoth <laughs> yeah we keep saying she's like a woolly mammoth we nicknamed her raggedy <laughs> so yeah she's off to the groomers next week what that's got to do with cooking i don't know but there we go i think it's because she's sat there watching us right then eggs so we're going to beat, let's just take that off so we can do. We're going to beat an egg, you know, like we normally do, three eggs. I do want to check these eggs as we do because I get me eggs from my chickens, they're laying well now, and um, I put them in one big tray, but normally I put a date on them, so the day that I collect them, I put like the following month's date on them because they normally have a shelf life of a month. Although lots of eggs go over, you know, it's just a shop thing that does that. But I do that anyway, it gives me an idea. But I haven't done it. I haven't done it, so I've got to go and smell. But you can definitely tell when an egg's gone off. It's not stinking, is it, Sean? Can we smell it? Can't smell it from here. No, that one's fine. So, yeah, I'm going to check them at the minute. I must stop putting the dates back on them, actually. I just pencil it on the top. Gives you an idea how old your eggs are, especially if um, you give them to somebody or like as we're going to start selling them when we get a lot in summer or spring, I should imagine. Yeah, that's great. Just pop it in there. Now, do we have to beat it around each one? Let's just check first. Um, beating lightly whisk eggs with a little flour. Oh. Well, it doesn't really say if we do one egg at a time. We'll give them a little whiz in between, shall we? Just make them the same side, just a little whiz. Can't do it, no arm. So I'll have to do the next egg then. I'll pop, is that going on in it? Oh, 
I've got that one. Just got to crack on the thing. I'll check that one. Yeah, I'll get the other one. And I'll fetch another one. Is that orange or lemon? It's a lemon. You want that in a minute. Oh. Mm. I'm just going to get you another bag. You do that one. There's a crack on the egg that I won't use it then. Not if it's got a little bit chipped out of it or anything like that. It's just not to have it, I think it's safe to use them. Let's just take them back off there. It feels quite warm today, I think. It feels very mild and warm weather. It's because we've had all this rain and everything. And I've got the oven on now. I've got the fire on as well. Maybe you should turn the fire off. Apparently we were expecting more snow on Sunday. They're saying, yeah, they're it's, forecasting it's, snow on Sunday. It says yeah. Scotland's going to be bad. Oh, well, we're nowhere near Scotland. <laughs> we're on low grounds. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Pop it in. We'll give it a quick whiz round. And then if you want to do the other one, well, I just whiz it round for you. Put this one then, we'll scrape it from the side. So, I was going to say, I don't think I did say, I started saying it and got distracted, I think. Um, I'll put the instructions the recipe into the description box below if anybody wants to have a go doing it uh, if the weather's nice i'm going out for a walk tomorrow <laughs> anybody who knows me knows that i don't walk <laughs> i don't walk anywhere I'm not that fond of walking well i don't mind if it's in the countryside but i don't like walking in um like through where there's lots of houses and places like that in towns and built up villages, things like that. I don't like walking where there's houses. I think it's part of the anxiety thing. But because we've got no car and my Christmas decorations are still on my parents' grave and it's now February, I thought I'd better walk down to the cemetery and get them off. So it's quite nice because I just go down the street, cut through a jitty, cross the main road, go past a couple of other houses and then I'm onto the countryside and it's all countryside and where the church is it's all in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's quite nice, it's a nice place to watch. I'm just hoping the weather's nice and I can go and do it all. The camera seems to be flashing a bit today. I don't know if this is going to come out you're going to see it. Whether I'm going to be flashing on and off, I don't really know. I don't know why it's doing it. What's the problem? We're flashing. What do you mean? Does it occasionally? Right then, shall we do the um, flower? Actually, it did say to add some lemon juice. That's what the lemon's for. So, Sean, it's, it actually said lemon essence, but oh. um, I've got a lemon. So it says put a little flour in and then your essence and then add the rest of the flour. So what we'll do then, we'll measure the flour out, which is eight ounces. So there's your flour look. Um, just to, is it set back to the nought, properly bang on? You only have to move these on the table and it alters everything. I wonder if I'm making a flash when I come close or whether it's just with the light because you're by the kitchen window and trying to focus like from me to Sean and what we're doing because we're moving about. I don't know. I just hope it doesn't come out and you see it flashing constantly. Or if it does, it's not too bad. Right, so I put the flower back on it gives us a bit more space, does it? Okay? I'll take your lid off, look. Just add a little bit into there, don't add it all, you just can't even to add some lemon. So if you just put, say, half of it. Mm. Like that? Yeah, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fine, just pop that on there a minute. 
and then so we can have the lemon, get a whisk, and then we'll put the rest in. I don't know why it says to do it like that. I don't know, but we'll do it anyway. Right then, I forgot to get a sharp knife out, Sean. So it says lemon essence, which I read after I'd read the word lemon, just skim through it. Teach me to read properly. I bought a lemon, so I've got a squeezer somewhere. Push that back. So what you do, Sean, you cut through the middle of the lemon, which is in half of the middle, okay? And watch your fingers. How <laughs> do you put a lemon? Push the knife through. There you go, you go through, that's it. Turn the lemon round and go round. Yeah. <laughs> I think we better show you. Oh dear me, how to kill a lemon. Turn it slowly, cut oh. slowly like that. It's your easiest way. This is quite sharp, this knife, so you do have to be careful. Right, so what you're going to do with your lemon, put it on there and squeeze it round so your juice goes in the bottom. Press it on there. Hold, hold your handle though, or it will move. Put it on there. Put it on there, yeah, and squeeze it. Just squeeze it round and backwards and forwards. See your lemon juice going through? Press it down as you do it. Press and squeeze. See you separating your juice now. Your juice is going through the bottom. I don't think we'll want too much juice anyway. Do you want to do the other one? Do the other one there? Lemon's horrible. <laughs> I love lemons. I hate Normally I think the camera's more this way that I'm having to come back to see you. Maybe that's why we're flashing. I say I love lemons. I love anything with lemon in. But my acid is a bit, well, oh, I don't always cope with it. But as long as I take the tablets and then I um, dose up on lots of Gaviscon Advance because that's nice and thick and lines your throat, I'll have some nice lemon meringue, something like that. I love lemon meringue. I like lemon cake. I always wanted to do baking where I just did the um, sponges. Well, I wanted to do, I think it was Kathy Pooch. Four sponges, I think it was. Four sponges and a fruit cake only, nothing else. I wanted to do lemon sponge cake, Victoria sponge cake, chocolate sponge cake, coffee yeah. sponge cake, and then a fruit cake. Nothing else, just that. And we're done. Oh yeah, that's lovely, you've done that a treat. I mean, we can grate the peelings off the lemon and sprinkle it on the cake. You bake the cake for about half an hour, take it out, sprinkle your lemon peelings on top and put it back in. But my lot won't light up, so. It does say optional and so we do leave it out. So what we do now then, Sean, if I can get this bit off. See how you've got your juice? Yeah, okay. I just put that there. I'll just put some in then. Do you want to pour some in? I don't know if we need all yeah. of it, but yeah. How much? We'll just pour slowly. So you can't see. <laughs> She'll try that, that might be enough. We'll give it a whiz, shall we? Whiz that in first, put your thing down. <laughs> Are you curious? I'm looking at where it was made. What, the lemon? No, the tub. Italy has lots of lemons. Oh, when I went to Italy, in, especially into Sorrento, the trees with lemons on just line the streets, it's beautiful. Oh, it's just made in Holland. Oh. Where's Holland? In the Netherlands. I don't know, I suppose I've been there. Next to France, Belgium. I've been there. <laughs> I did your job here, Sean. I know you are. Just that down and then we'll put the rest of the flour in. Right, do you want to get the rest? I'm sure you flour. Oh. And down! Naughty dog. Cool, why are you yelling? It's the only language she understands. <laughs> there you'll see that she's gone and lying in the bed. You have to be masterful. <laughs> Wait, pour the all. Yeah, it all goes in now. What you missed though? I didn't miss. I missed the beginning. Could have knocked it with a knife. Use a knife. Oh, scrape it all in. There you go. Yeah, you that can go in the washing up water. Get off there. Do you want to switch it on? 
Don't, I won't put your hands in, it's quite hard. Do you want to switch the thing on? Let's whiz it round then. Where are you going behind me? So small, this kitchen will fall over each other. So how has everybody else's week been? Two the weeks seem to fly by, don't they? They're going to have to quit. I not um, believe it. I'm quickly going. I mean, January's gone, and now what? A week, a week to February. It's flying by. It's nice now because we're getting towards the garden weather, and I'm looking forward to going out there. Looking forward to doing everything we've got to do and starting the growing and organising what we're going to be eating from what we grow. Oh, Mum, I forgot to tell you. Yeah. Saudi Arabia has had really, um, they've had hailstorms and lots of snow. In Saudi Arabia? Yeah, Saudi Arabia. Do you want to pull that bit in? Because I think um, we can get away with putting that in. That's brilliant, yeah. Yeah, you switch it on then. Mm -hmm. Sort the of lemons out in a minute. Let's go in a bit closer. Come in. Oh, it's nice because it might work out later. It might work out. Yeah, it might work out. Leave them a minute. Through the scales. Like this, I can put the pan down. Let's try just to put the thing down. Cooking's great, it's all the mess you have, isn't it? I mean, you watch all these cooking shows, and it doesn't look so messy because they cut all the mess out and it's just all nice. And then you do the time and you pile with everything. I'm thankful I've got a dishwasher for it though, but then I don't put everything in there. Right then. I don't put the bits from this machine in there, I never have done, I always pop them in the um, bowl. Mm -hmm. So now then, Sean, we've got to try and get it out of here. Let's just get this middle bit out. Do you know, I've got a, a cake whisk attachment for this and I've never ever used it, I always used this one. I don't know why, <laughs> I just seem to get on with this one better. I think this is more for making pastry though, but I do it for cakes, pastry, the lot. It always works, it does the job, so can't grumble. Right, that's the best we can do, Sean. Right, so you might be better with the spoon actually. i just pop that in there, pop that in there. Right, I want you to tip all that into there now. You'll have to scrape it with a spoon, I think. Yeah, I'm still not being a dirty towel if I drown with our clean hands. Oh, oops. We don't want no whoops moments. <laughs> Sorry, because I was turned across the dishwasher before I went oops. Oh, I did the door shut on you? Yeah. Come out so you can see. I think normally I've got you further back a bit and I must have you higher. I don't know. I never seem to be able to get it right. Yeah, so I think now, tomorrow, I'll put um, a quick vlog video. never really know the difference. I'm uh, going to put one out of the building of the duck pen. But what I did, I did it in photos, took it all in photos, because you just can't sit out there all the time watching him and filming everything he does. So just various stages of it in photographs. So I'm going to get my super-duper daughter here, Sean put it all together for me we'll have a bit of nice music to go with it and you can see how the duck pen was built mm. and i'll try and get a photo of the ducks in it because as i've said they are in it now we've just got to get um some felt for the top of the roof he has painted it he's stained it so it won't be too bad for the time being but he does need to get some really so that's the next job right? and to fill it with bark which it did have grass in it but I noticed when I went up yesterday they were all eating away through the grass and there's quite a bit of sludge forming yeah. so I thought might have to get the bark soon but he dug it up out of the old pen deemed it and it's lovely 
it was all thick and all mixed with um, lots of duck manure and um, I put it into the compost bin. I thought that's going to make some fabulous compost. It's going to be really nice. You need to learn to edit yourself. <laughs> you need to learn to do it. said can't edit. We do it with this free site, Kai Master. You need to learn to do it yourself. But I've always got the Kai Master um, sign stuck at the top there. Not that that worries me. Scrape every bit out, Sean. I'm a bit old to learn technology now, Sean. Um, well, it wasn't around in your time. It wasn't around in my time. When I was a child, you never had things like mobile phones or videos. Well, you no video players. Well, you better go thank South Korea, shouldn't you? Yeah. You have Samsung. They're the one who invented well, yeah, Samsung. So do you now, Samsung. yeah. Yeah, we didn't have nothing like that when I was a child. I know you did. I had a record player. And I remember one Christmas when I was about, I think I was about 11, and having like a um, little tape player. And it had, you put the lid and put your tape into this tape and it got all the buttons, the red button for record, and then you press this other one with the red and you record it. That's a microphone. And they used to love it, used to sing in it for hours. It used to drive me mum and dad mad, but I thought it was great. And then on a Thursday when Top of the Pops came on TV, I mean, this is perhaps before any of you times, <laughs> I don't know, well, when Top of the Pops came on TV and you wanted to take the songs, you put your tape recorder right next to the telly with the microphone and press record to get your songs so you could listen to them over and over again. How technology has come on, eh? Almost <laughs> the 20th century, we're in the 21st century mm -hmm. now, mother. Yeah, I got a lot of technology came towards the end of the 20th century. It's the 20th, 20th century. Yeah. There you go then. There's a lot to be said for the old fashioned way sometimes. <laughs> right, so that's done. Let me just have a look at that. Um, done all that. So it says we bake for one and a quarter hours mm. on gas mark four. So we'll put oh. that in there. Is that is a lemon? Yes, it's good thing. It's like when Lisa gave me the Haribo um, calendar that was made in Germany and there was literally lemons. I didn't, I ran them all in my mouth and there was a lemon one. I was like, oh my God, that's disgusting. Lemon's nice. Right then. So, I'm going to clear all this up. I've got a an hour and a quarter, which will be about quarter past three because it's two o'clock now, by our clock. So we'll go for now and then when it's done, hopefully it does all right. Because it's a bit strange because when I do the fruit cake in there, it comes more or less up to the top and then I pop foil over it so it doesn't get burnt because it has to cook for a long time on a lower number. So uh, I look at it just and it's sort of halfway down. I'm thinking, <laughs> should it be bigger than that? But you have to remember all cakes are different, aren't they? I can't say they're all the same. I'm terrible for doubling up recipes, you see, and I think that's half my problem. And then I'm thinking, maybe I should have doubled it and <laughs> just put the foil over so it cooked and didn't burn. But no, we've done it as it is. <laughs> we just followed the recipe exactly, apart from the sprinkling of lemon on the top. We're not going to bother with that, but it does say optional. But other than that, we followed it exactly, and now that has got to be a first. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to love and leave you for a moment, and I'll put this one licking the bowl. I'm not. That's something else we used to like doing as kids. <laughs> We're talking about that. I think I have. You're right there. <laughs> so yeah, we'll oh. be back in an hour and a quarter, which to you watching will be instantaneous. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, I'm back now. The cake's done. It's cooked nicely. I'll just give you a show. There we are. Nice and golden brown. I do think um, I should have doubled my mixture and made it twice as high. That's just a single mixture. And I'm often doubling mixtures and making things a lot bigger than what they should be. But that's cooked nice, that's lovely, so I'm sure they'll enjoy it for tea. I've already decided what we're going to be doing next week for cooking. I thought we'd make some scones next Thursday. So all sorted, organised, 
brilliant for me. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow I shall um, try and pop a gardening vlog on, but what it's going to be is the duck pen going up. So it'll be in like a picture format and try and find some nice music. And uh, it'll be like a picture show really of the different stages of it being built. So yes, so that's that. So uh, well, you won't actually see me tomorrow because obviously I won't be on the picture show. So next vlog I'll perhaps do now. If I don't appear for any reason on Monday, then it will be Tuesday and um, we'll look into doing another one of Sean's lessons. And this time I'll try and get the camera in the right position so the book's not upside down. I noticed after uh, I uploaded it last Tuesday, I thought everything's upside down. <laughs> Because we were the right way, I never noticed, but until I looked back at it and I thought, no, <laughs> you can't see what we're doing. So there's a good job I was talking through it a bit so you could hear what we were doing. So I'll try and get it the right way. It's difficult getting the space to do it, putting the camera really to get it all the right way up. But we'll have a fiddle next Tuesday and see what we can do. So I don't know what lesson we're looking on yet. We'll surprise you with that one. So I'm not that organised. <laughs> but we'll see what, we'll, what we can do. So if I don't see you before, I'll see you on Monday. Oh, sorry, Tuesday. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Take care. Bye.